now we would be learning the easy cal tricks to divide the numbers really fast okay so my question to you is again very straightforward how fast can you divide this huge number with 43 okay since this number has how many digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay since it's a 7 date number so I'm giving you 12 seconds to do it and your time starts now give it a try Your time is up. The correct answer is 62,314. Now, you don't have to tell me that you did not get that answer or for that matter any answer at all. For I know that until unless you use a calculator or you know this easy cal trick of dividing numbers, there is no way by which you can divide a 7 digit number in 12 seconds. So, let's first check out the usual way of doing it. Then I'll show you the faster way. Now, before we see the usual way to divide these numbers, let me warn you, as you know, that the usual way to divide any number is very long. So, please be patient. Alright? So, let's start now. You might be aware that this entire number that is being divided is known as dividend. And this number that is dividing this number is known as divisor. Okay? And we are going to write our answer here in this space. And that answer is known as, in technical terms, quotient. Okay? And if there is any digit left in the end, that would be the remainder so now let's start dividing these numbers so break this dividend into manageable parts so first we are going to divide 267 by 43 okay but that again is a very difficult thing to say if I ask you how many times 43 will go into 267 the answer would be difficult to say right away so what we'll do we are going to make it more manageable. So forget about this 3 and forget about this 7. Now just tell me how many times 4 will go into 26. So 4, 6 times is 24. So write that 6 here as your answer digit or quotient and then multiply your digits of divisor with this answer digit. So 6, 3 times is 18. And 6, 4 times is 24, and 24 plus 1 is 25. Now, subtract these digits. So, 17 minus 8 would be, we have borrowed 1 from here. So, this becomes 5, and this becomes 17. So, 17 minus 8 is 9. Now, drop the next digit down. So, copy 9 here. Okay. Now, once again, the same story. 43 will go in 99 how many times? So, either you can straight away say 2 times or you can once again hide this number, this digit and this digit here. So, 4, 2 times goes into 9. So, I will put 2 there. Now, once again multiply this answer digit with the digits of the divisor. So, 2, 3 times is 6 and 2, 4 times is 8. Now, once again, 9 minus 6 is 3 and this is 9 minus 8 is 1. Now, drop down the next digit. It is 5. Now, the same process again. Hide this 3, hide this 5 and ask yourself how many times 4 will go into 13. Okay. So, 4, 3 times is 12. So, write that 3 here and once again, multiply this with the divisor digits. So, 3, 3 times is 9 and 3, 4 times is 12. Now, 9 cannot be subtracted from 5. So, borrow 1 from here. So, this will become 2 and this will become 15. 15 minus 9 is how much? 6. And this is 12. Minus 12 is nothing. 0. Now, drop this 0 down. 
so this becomes 60 and once again the same thing 4 how many times will go in 6 1 times so put 1 here and 1 3 times is 3 and 1 4 times is 4 now I had this fear always that we are going to run out of space <laughs> now we have actually this method <laughs> is indeed very long no problem so 10 minus 3 is 7 and this had become 5 so this is 1 now drop down this 2 thankfully this is the last digit this is 2 here now 4 will go how many times in 17 so 4 4 times is 16 so I write 4 here and once again I multiply this so 4 3 times is 12 so where should I write 12 okay I'm writing it here and 4 4 is 16 and 16 plus 1 is 17 so subtracting 172 from 172 the remainder would be nothing 0 okay so finally our answer or our quotient is this 62314 now I know that you would be delighted to see the faster way of dividing the numbers because in faster way you will get the answer in maximum one or two lines okay now to divide these numbers the faster way all you need to do is break this divisor into two manageable numbers I'll break it as 4 and 3 where 4 would be our main divisor okay and this 3 would be called an unused digit as the name suggests we are not going to use it much to divide now the logic is that that dividing with 43 might be difficult but dividing with 4 is not isn't it so we will be dividing with 4 all the time let's see how we go about it now 4 how many times will be 26 so 4 6 times is 24 so write 6 here this is our answer digit and what is the remainder 26 minus 24 is 2 so write that remainder digit here again the point now read this as 27 this would be read as 27 so our next dividend would be 27 minus the product of this unused digit and the answer digit that we have put okay so 27 minus 3 times 6 that is 18 so 27 minus 18 would be 27 minus 8 is 19 and jumping down 10 is 9 so now our dividend is 9 okay 4 how many times goes in 9 4 2 times is 8 so write 2 here and the remainder is 1 isn't it 9 minus 8 is 1 so I write 1 here okay now this is read as 19 so our next dividend would be 19 minus the product of this unused digit and the answer digit that we have last put okay so 19 minus 3 2 times is 6 so 19 minus 6 is 13 so this is our next dividend so 4 goes how many times in 13 4 3 times is 12 again the remainder is 1 so the next dividend would be 15 minus 3 times 3 that is 9 15 minus 9 is 6 so write 6 here now 4 goes how many times in 6 1 times as simple as that and the remainder is 2 so write that 2 here so now this is 20 the next dividend would be 20 minus the product of this unused digit and the answer digit that you have last put so 20 minus 3 is 17 so 4 goes how many times in 17 4 4 times is 16 so I write 4 here and remainder is 1 isn't it 17 minus 16 is 1 so I write 1 here now the next divide would be 12 minus 3 times 4 that is 12 that is 0 moment you get 0 as the dividend that means the answer that you have got so far is the complete answer so this is my answer 62,314 so now let's practice more examples and see how easy and effective this method is okay so now let's divide this number with 23 the faster way okay so the first thing would be to break 23 into two parts take this first digit as the main divisor 
and keep this 3 as the unused digit okay so 2 will go how many times in 7 2 3 times is 6 write 3 here remainder is 1 this becomes 13 okay so our next dividend would be 13 minus this unused digit times the answer digit so 13 minus 9 is 4 so write 4 here 2 how many times is 4 2 2 times is 4 so write 2 here and the remainder is 0 this time so put 0 here now this would be read as 0 9 that is 9 so the next dividend would be 9 minus 3 2 times that is 6 so 9 minus 6 is 3 so write 3 here now 2 goes how many times in 3 1 times remainder is 1 okay so the next dividend would be 12 minus 3 1 times that is 3 12 minus 3 is 9 so 2 goes how many times in 9 2 4 times is 8 remainder is 1 so write the remainder digit here so the next dividend would be 12 minus 3 4 times that is 12 and 12 minus 12 is 0 moment you get 0 as the dividend you know that this is what is going to be the complete answer so the answer is 3214 so let's find out what is this number divided by 74 so once again take 7 as your main divisor and this 4 as your unused digit 7 will go how many times in 21 7 3 times is 21 but then this should ring a warning bell in your mind because I know this is not 7 this is 74 and 74 is going how many times in 210 I know that 73 times is 210 so 74 3 times would be more than 210 so I would not put 3 here rather I'll put one number less that is 2 if I put 3 there then what will happen that the next dividend that I'm going to get would be negative and you can't have a negative dividend now 7 2 times is 14 and 21 minus 14 is 7 so my remainder is 7 now this is 70 so the next dividend would be 70 minus 4 times 2 that is 8 70 minus 8 is 62 okay now this is positive had we put 3 here it would have been negative 7 goes how many times in 62 7 9 times is 63 that is more than that so 7 8 times is 56 now remainder would be what should you add to 56 to get 62 6 so remainder is 6 now our next dividend would be 60 minus 4 times 8 that is 32 okay so 60 minus 2 is 58 and jumping down 30 that is 3 tenths would be 28 7 goes how many times in 28 7 4 times is 28 again this is a very close call so it should ring up a warning bell now let's see what will happen okay um, this time I am not reducing the number I am just putting the number which I am getting as it is 7 4 times is 28 so I am putting 4 here now let's see what will happen so the remainder here is 0 isn't it so this is 0 8 that is 8 so our next dividend would be 8 minus 4 times 4 that is 16 now a smaller number minus a bigger number would obviously give you a negative number so we'll get a negative dividend here but you can't have a negative dividend isn't it so that means that this should not have been 4 this should have been 3 and we must go a step back are you getting the point so like when I told you when you get a zero dividend it means that it's time to stop you have answered the question completely but when you get a negative dividend it means it means that you have made a false move so you must go a step back isn't it it's a penalty that is imposed on you all right so I'll just go a step back and take this as 3 okay so 7 3 times is 21 okay so 28 minus 21 is 7 so I'll put 7 here now our next dividend would be 78 minus 4 times 3 that is 12 so 78 minus 12 would be 78 minus 2 is 76 and jumping down 10 would be 66 so our next dividend is 66 which is positive so 7 how many times is 66 7 9 times is 63 so I'll write 9 here and our remainder is 3 and our next dividend would be 36 minus 
4 times 9, that is 36. So, 36 minus 36 is 0. So, we get a 0 dividend and that means the answer that we have got so far is the complete answer. So, the answer is 2839. So, just remember this thing that every time you get a negative dividend, that means you have made a false move. So, now you must pay the penalty and you must go a step back, okay? And reduce the last answer digit that you have put by 1, okay? If you have put 4 there, then you reduce it by 1 and write 3 there, okay? And if you get a 0 dividend, then that means that you have completed the question. You have got the complete answer, as simple as that. Okay, so now let's see how fast we can divide these numbers. So let's start from here. 6 will go how many times in 27? 6, 4 times is 24. So the remainder is 3. This becomes 36. Now our new dividend would be 36 minus 4 times 4 is 16. So 36 minus 16 would be 30, 20. That is jumping down 10. Okay, so 6, 3 times is 18. So I write 3 here and 2 is the remainder, so I put 2 here, okay. So, once again, a new dividend would be 24 minus 4 times 3, that is 12. So, 24 minus 12 is obviously 12. 6, how many times is 12? 6, 2 times is 12, so I put 2 here. And of course, the remainder is 0. Now, the new dividend would be 8 minus 4 times 2, that is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0, obviously. So, that means this is our answer, 432. Okay. Do the next one. 8, how many times is 43? 8, 5 times is 40. So, the remainder is 3. Okay. The new dividend would be 34 minus 3 times 5. That is 15. So, 34 minus 15 would be 34 minus 5 is 29. And jumping down 10 is 19. So, our new dividend is 19. 8, how many times would be 19? 8, 2 times is 16. And the remainder is 3, of course. Okay. So, the new dividend would be 30 minus 3 times 2, that is 6. 30 minus 6 is 24. 8 will go into 24 how many times? 8, 3 times is 24. So, I put 3 here, remainder is 0. So, now what we have? The new dividend, it would be 9 minus 3 times 3, that is 9. So, 9 minus 9 is 0. Moment you get 0 here as the dividend, you know that this is what your answer is. 523. So, now the last one. 9, how many times is 68? 9, 7 times is 63. So, the remainder is 5. The new dividend would be 51 minus 2 times 7. That is 14. 51 minus 4 is 47. Jumping down 10 is 37. So, the new dividend is 37. 9, how many times is 37? 9, 4 times is 36. So, the remainder is 1. So, the new dividend would be 17 minus 2 times 4. That is 8. So, 17 minus 8 is 9. 9, how many times is 9? 9, 1 times is 9. So, the remainder is, of course, 0. Now, the new dividend would be 2 minus 2 times 1. That is 0. So, the moment you get 0 as a dividend, you know that this is what your answer is. Now, do you see the difference between this faster way and the usual way? With this faster way, we have managed to do 3 questions on one page. And with the usual way, we could not even do one question on one page, isn't it? We ran out of space. And not only we did it in less space, but we did it in less time and with so much ease. Why? Because all the time we were taking single digits as the main divisor. There lies the difference. And you always thought that division was difficult. 